Hello preschool friends! I'm super excited about our book today because it has my favorite animal in it! A bunny! This book is called On the Night of the Shooting Star and it's by Amy Hest and it's illustrated by Jenny Desmond. This is such a cute book. I think you'll like it. <clears throat> oh look, I bet your parents did this with you when you were a baby. Maybe they still do. They look like good friends. Let's turn this. Bunny and dog live on opposite sides of the fence. So here's Bunny's house, and here's the dog's house. They have nice little houses. Bunny must like blue. Dog must like red. They're even wearing red and blue. <clears throat> Why well, I see carrots growing on the top of his roof, too. And he's got a tree house. How fun. Bunny's house is blue. A sign on the mailbox says, Bunny House Private. Inside are a table for dining, a bed for sleeping, a lamp for reading, and cocoa. Lots and lots of cocoa. Here it is on the shelf. And here's some um, things they might he might need to make cocoa. Or she. She has a nice little house. Lots of bunny stuff. This is kind of what, what my bedroom looks like. Dog's house is red. A sign on the door says, Dog here. Do not disturb. Inside are a table for dining, a bed for sleeping, a lamp for reading, and biscuits. Lots and lots of biscuits. So they have some of the same things in their house. They just look different. Here's a dog's biscuits on the shelves. Dog has a fireplace. They both like to read. Every morning, first thing, Bunny looks through the fence and the tall grass at Dog. And every morning, first thing, Dog looks through the fence and the tall grass at Bunny. No one says hello or hi or nice to see you today. So they're curious about each other, but they don't talk yet. Hopefully they do, huh? In this picture, the dog is is knitting. In this picture, the bunny is picking flowers. Those are nice things to do. Bunny hops and nibbles all through the day. She plants a carrot seed here and there, and she peeks at dog. When night comes, she sips cocoa in bed and reads. Now and then, she checks on the light in the window of the little red house. Dog skips and sniffs all through the day. He hides his ball and digs it up and peeks at Bunny. When night comes, he munches biscuits in bed and reads. He checks on the light in the window of the little blue house. So they both check on each other at night. They're very curious. Maybe they're feeling shy. Seasons come, seasons go. No one says hello or hi or let's have a picnic today. So I see summer, and fall, and winter, and spring. It seems like they like to do a lot of the same things. They like to be outside. One sleep sleepless night, Bunny goes out to the yard to watch the stars above their little red house. Dog's house. Dog needs a friend, she thinks. Who could be Dog's friend? The stars are dim but beautiful that night. Who do you think could be Dog's friend? On the other side of the fence that very night, Dog watches the moon above the little blue house, Bunny's house. Bunny needs a friend, he thinks. Who could be her friend? The moon is beautiful, and the stars. So they both think that the other one needs a friend. All at once, the night sky brightens. A shooting star! Zip! And then it is gone. You see the shooting star is right here. There's the trail. They're both looking at it. That'd be a cool thing to see. Bunny looks at Dog. Dog looks at Bunny. They had seen a shooting star, but now it is gone. 
You're supposed to make a wish when you see a shooting star. Back in the little blue house, Bunny lies under the table and thinks about Dog and their shooting star. She thinks for a long time. In the little red house, Dog sits on the chair and thinks about Bunny and their shooting star. He thinks for a long time. What do you think they're thinking about? Maybe they're thinking about each other and how they could be each other's friend. On the night of the shooting star, two doors open. They're both coming outside. Bunny carries cocoa in cups carefully to the fence where Dog is waiting with a basket full of biscuits. I could be your friend, says one. Yes, please, says the other. Oh, how happy. They decided they'll be each other's friends. They even brought snacks to share with each other. Their favorite snacks, too. They get to work digging a hole under the fence. In time, it is just the right size for the one to slip through, and just the right size for the other. The cocoa is hot, and the biscuits are sublime. They had seen a shooting star, and now it was gone. Looks like Dog made a rabbit a, a little shirt. Rabbit made Dog a picture. Oh, they're having fun with each other. It's good to have a friend. But for the rest of their days and nights, Bunny and Dog are exceptional friends. That means they're really good friends. Looks like they went on a picnic together. Look at all that yummy food. They're having great fun. And that's the end. Maybe a nice thing you could do for a friend at school while you're home is you could make them a picture. That'd be nice, and you could give it to them when you see them next. That'd be wonderful. All right, friends, if you go outside, don't blow away. It's very, very windy. <laughs> but I will read you another story tomorrow. Love and miss you.